I did two laps using this route I'm about to show you, and uh, this is after completing it. Um, I went to feed this crocodile and I have 110 iron ore. I started out with 56, uh, which means I got 54 iron ore in the two laps, which means you can get about, you'll get about 27 iron ore per lap. Um, and each lap takes exactly five minutes because uh, I figured out that it takes exactly five minutes for a mining rock to respawn. Um, basically, you start out with placing your miner in a cage in the center of the map because if you stray too far from them, they'll end up out of the cage. And this is going to be a complete lap that we're gonna do and you can do as many as you want until you feel like you're done or you run out of meals to refill your second bar of energy and we won't be teleporting until the very end and you'll see why uh. once your miner is caged and you have a full bar of energy we're gonna start by heading out to the forest in this route, we're going to hit every single mining rock except for the ones in the Forgotten Lands and three of the six in the Plateau, um, neither of which are ideal for mining iron ore anyway. Um, and I don't think it's possible to hit any more within the five minutes uh, time limit, which I'm going to throw a timer up on here just to show how efficient this route is. Um, oh, and we also won't, of course, we won't be hitting the rocks in the plaza or the meadow either, but neither of those produce any iron ore anyway. So we hit half the rocks in the forest and collect everything that drops. And then we head up to the fro uh, frozen heights, <laughs> frozen heights to hit every single rock, all six. I believe there are six rocks in each biome. And this route focuses uh, focuses on the glade of trust and the forest uh, because those are the ideal mining locations but since you can get iron ore from the other places we might as well get as many as we can in within the five minutes and i threw up another timer there on that rock because that rock is going to be the most obvious uh, when we lap around um, the most obvious demonstration of exactly how uh, we're within 10 seconds um, of each mining rock respawning um, after every lap. So we hit all six in the heights, then we come back down to the forest and finish the remaining three. And then we just run our asses all the way over to the plateau and this method basically gives you a, about a 10 second um, 10 seconds of leeway for hiccups people getting in your way um, when uh, refeeding when you need to refill your energy bar glitches or bugs I should say or uh, making just making mistakes um, I do all three of which all three of which happens to me at once at the end of this first lap 
uh, where I'm refeeding and I make a dumb mistake and a bug happens. <laughs> so those 10 seconds are good to have uh, for every lap. So we hit these three rocks in the plateau and then we head straight to the meadow, which is where we'll finish the first lap. You want to start with this first rock um, and we'll end with the other rock near the entrance because that's the best way to cycle through to the next lap. And I actually calculated um, kind of every detail here. Um, I hit 12, I used a sample of 12 rocks of uh, timing how long it takes to mine them. Uh, some rocks will break in one hit. Um, it can be one hit, two, three, four, or five hits. Um, and I calculated how long each of those takes. Uh. And then hit 12 rocks. Um. I figured that'd be a good enough sample to get a general idea and saw how many, you know, uh, took one hit, two hits, three. Most of them were like three hits or five, but whatever, I found the average of those and uh, I found the average time it takes to hit a rock is about, I think it was about 4.4 seconds. So I added up all the time it would take to hit all of the rocks on this route plus the time it takes to travel um, from travel to each rock and the time traveling from biome to biome um, and I'm pretty sure this is the best possible route you could get um, so yeah there we started hitting it about 10 seconds after it spawned respawned um and i think you're actually going to be able to see uh the first rock in up there in the frosted heights respawn often kind of in the distance but it's not as obvious as the rock i placed the second time around um and if someone can find a more efficient route i would love to see it um that'd be really interesting if you could get maybe one more rock from the uh, Forgotten Lands or the Plateau. Um, or maybe once, I don't think it's possible to get to, um, to break the barriers, the bones, I guess, uh, barriers in the Plateau yet. Um, maybe on the, when Scar gets released, we'll finally be able to get through there. Um, but see here, now, this, that rock back there is about to respawn. And so we are just behind lapping these rocks. Um, and yeah, like I said, you should get about 27 iron ore per lap, which is exactly five minutes. So... Let me calculate that here. 27. Every five minutes. So for an, what an hour would be. Five times 15 is 30. So 27 times. I mean 60. <laughs> excuse me. 27 times 15. Right. Did I do that right? 405 iron ore per hour.
Wait, where did I get 15? Sorry, 12. I'm a dumbass. Twenty-seven times twelve, three hundred and twenty-four iron ore per hour. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Time to prepare today's menu. I should probably edit that out. I don't want to get your hopes up. <laughs> Not 400 per hour, but 324 approximately per hour. And iron ore is by far the resource you need more than any anything else. There's nothing you need more than iron ore. After completing all the quests, I want to say this is, I'm just gut feeling it feels like you need like, I don't know, 500 or so in total. But if you do this, you'll, you could, if it is about 500, then you should be set after a total of like. hour and a half of this. And uh, so now once you've completed that, what you do is you warp to the well in the glade and then your mining partner will be there. At, what, at which point they will then go release everything all the bonus that they've, they've saved up for you. And there you have it. 